Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I wanted to come on and share with you a few, pro a few projects I've been working on. I have been missing in action for quite some time now. Um, due to health reasons and trying to get everything in order. Um, I'm still not quite there, but I wanted to pop in and say hello. I missed everybody. Um, I have been doing some de-stash videos as I have the energy I'm going through and cleaning out my room and my craft room and kind of purging the things that I really don't use anymore that someone else might be able to use. Uh, yeah, so there might be a bunch more de-stash videos. <laughs> okay, uh, first things first is in my tortoise bag for anybody who watches Doctor Who. Um, yeah, I have, this is the beast that's been keeping me occupied most of the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing all my projects I've been up to. Um, I've completed a few, but unfortunately I don't have them with me anymore. They've already been gifted. Um, but this is the flax sweater. And I did it in it's panther pink is the colorway, and black. So the rib around the neck is in black. The cuff, you know, the ribbing at the bottom is black. And then... I just have the sleeves to do and sh this one will be done so I'm super excited about that um, I haven't worked on it here in a while because I kind of lost the <laughs> momentum with it it is kind of chilly still here but I'm afraid by the time that I actually finish it it's just going to be put away for fall but I might pick it up and work on it not sure I still have Time, I guess because they're calling for more cold weather this weekend, which I'm not too thrilled about. I'm sorry for you guys that are further north than I am in the U.S. that are um, dealing with this super, super cold weather in the snow. I'm hoping we don't get that and they're calling for possibilities, but yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I cast on and started working on to use up some of yarn scraps that I've got from other projects that just keep piling up and instead of just making more and more I'm trying to do something with them as I started a cozy memories square blanket it's also it's actually called um, the mitered square blanket but everybody was calling it the cozy memory and normally the pattern on this that I've seen goes striping they're all striping in one direction and I have mine making X's, almost like lattice work. <laughs> Sorry about that, I have a message. Um, but it makes it like lattice work, and I thought that would be fun and something a little bit different. However, I do have to think about this when I, <laughs> when I work on it, because then I have to think about where I pick up my stitches, so I actually get the seam and the center going, the miter going the right direction. So, that doesn't get picked up all that often, but it is for a small project to take on the go. It's perfect. So I've been working on that one. And I actually just started um, cast this on the other day. And I haven't posted it to Instagram just yet. Um, I was actually thinking about posting it maybe today. It's called, it's a shawl. And it's called, I'm going to probably pronounce it wrong, Quoth. It's K-V-O-T-H-E. And it is a free pattern. Um, and I doubt I won't be able to show you that it'll even come up really good, but you could search it, and it is free, so if you are a knitter, um, what it is, is a drop stitch shawl, so this is a corner, and you work from corner to corner, so it gradually gets bigger, but you're decreasing, you're binding off as you go, which is awesome, because then it leaves less to worry about later, because you'll be back down to the uh, there to your corner on the other side and once you bind that final stitch up you're done which I thought was awesome and it's a drop stitch and then you, know, you see the longer stitch pattern right here that's the scary part of this so I only do a little at a time because I have to actually focus on it and I can't concentrate all that long all that, <laughs> that much anymore but what you do is once you get to a section that's like that um, that has the yarn over which actually makes a knit stitch you want to go and after you purl the top you actually drop that stitch and then all the stitches underneath 
in that row unravel to the very end where there's one stitch that stops it. So it's kind of scary, so if you messed up somewhere along the way, it'll just unravel. So, yeah, I want to take my time with this one, but I really do love the colors. They're nice springy colors, nice pastels. And it is a super thin yarn. Let's see if I can show you. And it is held double. And it is a huge ball. I actually have a bunch of these. Um, so I might make this rather large. We'll see. So that's another long-term project. And let's see. In here, I have another blanket I have going because I'm not satisfied with just one, you know. I needed another scrappy blanket because I noticed that I didn't really want to put like 10 of one color square in my Cozy Memories blanket. So what I did was I took a bunch of my scrap yarns that I, I already have sectioned off for the squares and I rolled them into a huge ball a Russian, uh, Russian joining the yarn and you can search that on YouTube to find out how to do it it's really simple so this way I don't have to attach yarn as I go so there's no more weaving in ends except for your first thread and your last thread which I think is awesome because if I'm on a project, the more I have to start and stop, especially if you're watching a movie or something, I don't want to do it. I won't pick it back up. But you can see, there are, it's like a monster ball. And you get inside, there are so many different colors in there, so you never know what you're going to get next. Um, well, you would, because you went on the ball. But if you like me, you forgot by the time that you get there. So it's exciting each time you get there. And it's the 10 stitch blanket. And you just work until you just keep going around and around and around until you get to the length you want. And you start with 10 stitches here and you go up, you turn your corner, 10 stitches. You know, it's only 10 stitches on a needle at a time. It's a super easy pattern. It's garter with short row turns, which is awesome. So it's quick and it'll be nice, sturdy, soft blanket. Um, of all your scraps so you can number all the projects that you've worked on and I think I'm pretty set up for that one I have her as another ball and this is my husband's joking it's an egg because I mean you can see that it's huge <laughs> and it is pretty heavy too um, but I'm set up to work on that if I ever need to just sit down and kind of relax because it's not a really hard one to um, focus on to work on the turning the corner is the most intricate it gets, and it's really not, not bad at all. And then the last project that I'm working on is something I just uh, casted on and I didn't post to Instagram yet either, I don't think. It may have at this point by the time I show it, but I, I'm not sure. Um, and it's using the Wolfie, Wolfrey Sock Stripes yarn. And this is... The Rainforest colorway, and it's 93% acrylic and 7% PBT, which is um, another form of nylon, so it has stretch. Um, so it's perfect for socks, so of course, that's what I did. I cast on a sock. Um, I'm doing one at a time this time. I don't feel like I'll have second sock syndrome, so I think it'll be okay. And I am just starting the second repeat of the yarn. This one has quite a few repeats. It's got the green, the black, like a teal, speckles, uh, another black, and then another teal speckle, black, and then the green, and then this really nice caramely color with um, the black speckles, and then more of the teal, and then it keeps repeating with the blue, and then the brown, and then and we just got back to the green, so we'll be going to black soon. And these I'm making for my daughter, which she's already expressed how much she loves. So these don't get a whole lot of work, um, but I work on them daily. I do a couple rows. If I sit down and work on them, I can get I can get them done pretty quick. But I am trying to limit myself to get some other things done uh, <laughs> around the house, and also with. Um, our family reunion coming up, I have a few items I'm going to make 
for that because we do a raffle every year. And I also have another video um, of what I want to make, so I'm trying to get everything prepped for that. So yeah, I've been kind of busy, but it's been fun. I just want to come on and share with you guys. Oh, another thing I'm doing, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. The name is, uh, oh gosh. Alright, it's either Little Raven or Little Raven 1. Um, I actually have it linked um, in my About section, so you can find me there. There's all different places, so you want to see me other places on the web? Check out my About page. I am most act active on Instagram, so if you want to keep up with me, that's the best way to do it. And there's something else I was going to talk about. I can't remember. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing a drawing challenge right now with um, my daughter and my husband and my sister. Um, I'm sure there's other people online that might be doing it or have done it. Um, it's actually a Pokemon drawing challenge. So we're on another day and I post all my sketches on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Love to see you guys there. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.